The cable-laying vessels of Boscala subsidiary VBMS are fully equipped with dynamic positioning 2 and 7-point mooring system. This mooring system and the modular layout of the deck enable the vessels to beach and operate in shallow waters and also further offshore to install cables between wind turbine foundations. Each cable-laying vessel has what is called a turntable with a capacity of 5,000 tons, which rotates to guide the cable into the water using a tensioner. The tensioner ensures that the cable leaves the vessel at the correct speed. By installing an interarray cable, which connects two wind turbines to one another, the cable-laying vessel starts at the first monopile with the first end pull-in. The cable-laying vessel installs the cable on the predetermined cable route and arrives at the second monopile. The cable is cut to the proper length and guided through a cable protection system, which protects it at the point where it enters the monopile. This is where the second end pull-in takes place. A quadrant is used to control the cable's excess length, preventing the cable from overbending. The cable-laying vessel installs what are called export cables to connect the offshore wind farm to the onshore grid. The export cable must be buried during installation, for which a plough is used. The plough is pulled ashore by a winch. The same winch then pulls the cable through the plough. Drawing the plough, the cable-laying vessel is simultaneously laying and burying the cable. The cable-laying vessel is designed to also operate in shallow waters and it can even beach. This cable-laying vessel has the unique ability to beach when the export cable needs to be pulled ashore in extensive shallow water areas. Depending on soil type, a jetting tool such as the trench former may be used. Water is spouted onto the seabed under high pressure, creating a trench in which to lay the cable. 